battle over the red flannel logo in Cedar Springs has come to a head. For years, the city has used the festival's logo, but facing a lawsuit, the city has now agreed to drop the image, and some say it's causing Cedar Springs to lose its identity. 24-Hour News 8 Steve Kelso explains. The Red Flannel Town may not be much longer. The Red Flannel Festival Committee served notice to the city on several occasions that they would have to stop using this logo. Last night, the city agreed. For more than 70 years, the Red Flannel Festival has celebrated the lumber history of Cedar Springs, and the city has celebrated right back, plastering the familiar red undergarment everywhere. I think we're still working with them. It was just a, a business legal matter that had to be taken care of. Then the city said it could no longer afford to donate services to the festival. Instead, festival organizers would have to come up with around $8,000. The festival decided that the city was wrongly using this trademark in its marketing and sent a cease and desist letter to City Hall. The council decided instead of mounting a costly legal battle, it would simply ditch the logo. Here's what we had, and there's what we'll no longer have. And so today the work began, ripping, stripping, and removing the logo anywhere it exists, and it exists everywhere in Cedar Springs. Basically, we're here. The mayor pointed out the empty spot on the wall in council chambers. It was not an easy decision, Steve. We in fact, casting that vote for Mayor Charlie Watson was downright painful. This is fairly emotional to you with your dad's position in this year's parade. Yes, it is. Tell me about that. I don't know if I can, to be totally honest with you, Steve. I, it's difficult. How do you tell your father? And that's a tough one for the mayor. You see, his dad, Joe Watson, has been chosen to serve as Grand Marshal this year as a result of his years of dedication to the Red Flannel Festival. In Cedar Springs, Steve Kelso, 24 Hour News 8. We were unable to contact the Red Flannel Festival Committee this afternoon, but we did review that group's website and news releases in the preparation of this story. This year's celebration is scheduled for the weekend of October 6th.